Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Iklaak and you are watching Wiki Technos. Today we are going to talk about what is front end and what is back end. If you guys are new to web development and you are wondering what is front end and what is back end. So this video is for you then. By the end of this video, you will get a complete idea about front end and back end and what are the differences between them. So without a further ado, let's get started. Before explaining what is front end and what is back end, I want to show you guys a simple example so that you will get little idea about the whole picture that we are going to talk today. So let's take an example of a YouTube. As you can see, it has a different image views here and sidebar, it has a lots of menu. You can see the subscription list, the icon, the notification icon. These all are the work of a front end developer. They are responsible for designing the UI of a website or of a mobile app. Now you must be wondering where the work of a backend developer comes. So in YouTube, it has a servers up there in cloud somewhere and there is a lot of data stored. We as a frontend developers need to access that data. Now how that data will come to us? So backend developers gives us the access of those databases where the data is stored, where the videos, where the photos, where the data of a particular user is stored. They gives us the access using APIs or SDKs. Now I'll explain the frontend and backend in four different sections. The first one will be scope. Second one is the difficulty. Third is the technologies we use to develop frontend or backend systems. And fourth one is the salary. So let's talk about the scope. By scope, I mean the amount of work that front-end or back-end developers do. To be honest, it's not right to compare both of them because it's like comparing apples with oranges. They are both different. So let's talk about them differently. As far as front-end developers are concerned, they, they are responsible for UI design. They are responsible for user interaction. They are responsible for displaying the data that they get from backend. Now, if we talk about backend developers, they set up connection between the database. They set up the endpoints of the API. They set up the authentication of the data. Uh, backend developers provide the data in, the, in a standard form like JSON or XML. Now let's talk about the difficulty. <music> difficulty level of frontend is a little bit easier than of the backend. Because backend, we yeah. have to take care of the security of data. We, we need to provide data in a standard form. Backend developers cannot let a chance to get messed with the databases as the data in the databases is really, really sensitive. In front-end development, we get a feel while we work. We can see what we are doing. We can get a real feel of the code that we are developing. We could write a code that nobody can understand, but in front-end browser or in mobile app, we could see that the UI is doing something and it makes front-end developers feel better. And that is the reason most of the developers are attracted towards the front-end development. It's not like there are less back-end developers but as a beginner, most of the developers choose to be a front-end developer. Let's talk about the technologies that we use to build our front-end or back-end systems. First, we'll go with front-end. In front-end, the design we get are mostly built in HTML, CSS and JavaScript. But HTML and CSS is not everything that front-end developers should know. I as a developer consider JavaScript as a king of front-end development because most of the frameworks out there are built upon JavaScript. For example, React, Angular, See, JavaScript has really, really great client-side power. Yeah. If you are going to be a front-end developer, I recommend you to make your JavaScript really, really good. And then later on, you can move in backend and be a full-stack developer. Backend development is done on a server side. That means dealing with databases and APIs and the stuff. 
so the best language right now in 2019 and 2020 on top is python because you'll get a great power while designing apis you'll get flexibility your apis will be faster and second good choice is node.js because node.js is built in a javascript if you are a front end developer you mostly are working with javascript and then you will learn node.js quickly as it's built in a javascript Now comes the last part and that is salary. In India, if the front end developers has an experience of less than 2 years, they would mostly get a salary package of 4 to 6 lakhs per annum. But if their experience is more than 3 years, they would get salary between 6 to 10 lakhs per annum. In case of back end developers, the salary is a bit higher than front end developers. The average salary of a back end developer whose experience is less than 2 years is 5 to 7 lakhs. and if their experience is more than 3 years they would get 8 to 12 lakhs per annum that's it guys for today i hope you like this video and if you do then don't forget to subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so next so, time i upload a new video you'll get notified thanks for watching have a nice day